What's up, LHS? I'm Jesse. And I'm Mario. Your books are on sale and we're having a back to school special. Your books are $65 with purchase by today. Your book prices will go up on tomorrow, October 1st. The back to school sale is the lowest price of the year. Seniors, if you need to retake your senior pictures, check your school email for info. Wednesday is our yearly picture day extravaganza, and it looks like everything is due, including baby pictures and senior quotes. Underclassmen makeups, senior formals, and club pictures will all take place in the small gym all day Wednesday. Senior formers are scheduled throughout the day and by appointment only. This is the last chance for seniors to be in the yearbook. You must register online to schedule your appointment. Faculty, if you need to retake or make up a picture, please do so before school or during first block. If you do not have a picture made, you will not be in the yearbook. Also submit baby pictures, quotes, and order senior ads at lhssouvenir at gmail.com. Make sure the subject line is your name. Students who did not pick up their IDs need to come by room A303 between classes to get it. Sophomores and juniors, last Thursday was the last day to sign up for the PSAT. You may bring a $17 cash or check to guidance or pay online by Friday. You may be wondering why you should take this test. Juniors who score high enough on a PSAT may qualify as a National Merit Scholar. And sophomores, you can better your chances of getting a higher score the more you take the test. Here is some helpful information. Any student planning to get their driver's permit needs to have a truancy form from Lebanon High School. To get one, students need to go to A100 24 hours before you need it and sign your name on the clipboard. The last day to register for the October 26th National ACT was Friday. However, late registration is available until October 4th. See guidance or visit ACT.org for more information. A list of new and current NHS members is posted outside of room B312. Our first meeting will be Thursday, October 17th at 3 p.m. There will be a Skills USA meeting on Wednesday at 3 in the cafe. All members, please bring your packet and money for competition. FBLA will be hosting their annual Princess Character Breakfast on October 19th. Don't forget to get your tickets early. Please remember the cost is per person, so if you're bringing your child, it will be $5 for you and $5 for your child. Please pay online at Lebanon High School's website or purchase tickets at Lebanon High School's front office. Hours from 8 to 30 p.m. Coming up, we have more news, but first, let's find out more information with National Hispanic Heritage Month. Each year, Americans observe National Hispanic Heritage Month from September 15th to October 15th by celebrating the histories, cultures, and contributions of American citizens whose ancestor came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, Central, and South America. The observation started in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week under President Lyndon Johnson, but it was expanded by President Ronald Reagan and enacted into law on August 17, 1988. Today, BDN begins our series by celebrating Hispanic heritage. I hope you enjoy. The only group of people who are truly native to America are Native Americans. The rest of us can trace our roots to ancestors who immigrated to the United States from other countries. One group of Americans who can do this are Hispanics. Hispanics and Latinos can trace their roots to Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. Around 50 million Americans call themselves Hispanic or Latino. Their customs and traditions have become a part of the United States culture. Because of this, Congress passed a law stating that September 15th through October 15th is National Hispanic Heritage Month. During this month, Hispanic activities are celebrated all over the United States. Music, food, dancing, and story readings from Latino and Hispanic history and culture are shared. Hispanic authors, poets, artists, and performers share the arts from their ancestors' countries. Hispanic active military men and women and military veterans, as well as those who have or do serve in politics, are honored. Government organizations like the National Archives and Smithsonian Institute join together to recognize the many generations of Hispanic Americans who have added great things to our nation and society. National Hispanic Heritage Month starts on September 15th and not September 1st because five Central American countries celebrate their independence around that day. Those five countries are Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. 
So if you're of Hispanic or Latino heritage, remember to show pride in who you are, especially between September 15th and October 15th. To find out more information about National Hispanic Heritage Month, please visit HispanicHeritageMonth.gov. Today marks the beginning of the 2019-2020 bowling season. Tomorrow, the Blue Devils have their season opener against the Portland Panthers. Come out and support them as they bowl their way towards the state tournament in January. See you at Pro Bowl West, 4 p.m. is the start time. The cross-country team traveled to Cookville on Saturday where the boys placed top 10 as a team and India Maston medaled individually placing 11th with a time of 22-13. The Blue Devils' next meet will be at Mid-State Championships during fall break. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Jesse. And I'm Mario. This, this has been news to you from the Wide and Blue. Have a great week, LHS.